Welcome to this explanation of multiversion concurrency control. We'll explore how maintaining multiple versions of data items can enhance transaction processing in databases. So, what is multiversion concurrency control? It's a concurrency control method that maintains multiple versions of each data item. This allows concurrent transactions to access different versions of the data. Instead of overriding existing data, each write operation creates a new version. This ensures that transactions can read consistent snapshots of the database without blocking writers. Multiversion concurrency control offers several key benefits. First, it increases concurrency because readers don't block writers and writers don't block readers. This allows for higher throughput, especially in read-heavy workloads. Second, it ensures consistent reads meaning transactions see a consistent snapshot of the database as it existed at the start of the transaction. Third, it reduces contention by eliminating most read-write conflicts, which reduces the need for locks and improves performance. Finally, it provides transaction isolation without the overhead of traditional locking mechanisms. Let's examine the structure of versions in multi-version concurrency control. Each version of a data item typically contains the value of the data item, a creation timestamp which often corresponds to the transaction ID, an expiration timestamp if applicable, and a pointer to the previous version. These versions form a chain that can be traversed to find the appropriate version for a specific transaction. As you can see in the code snippet, a version is generally a struct which contains value transaction ID of the creator transaction ID of when it expires, a pointer to previous version and a function which checks if the version is visible to a particular transaction ID. Here are the rules for version selection in multi-version concurrency control. For read operations, a transaction with IDTR reads the most recent version created by a transaction TC, such that TC is less than or equal to TR, meaning the version was created before or by the current transaction, and the version is not expired or overwritten by a committed transaction. For write operations, when a transaction TW writes a data item, it creates a new version with the timestamp TW and marks the previous version as expired with the expiration timestamp TW. In a timestamp-based multi-version concurrency control protocol, each transaction is assigned a unique timestamp when it starts. These timestamps establish a total ordering of transactions. Each data item maintains a read timestamp, abbreviated as RTS, and a write timestamp, abbreviated as WTS. Transactions access the version that is visible according to their timestamp. Conflicts are resolved by aborting transactions that violate timestamp ordering. As you can see in the pseudocode for read operation, First, the system finds the visible version to a transaction of a timestamp. If no visible version is found, then the read transaction is aborted, otherwise value is read. For write operation, it is checked whether write timestamp is less than read timestamp. If yes, then the write operation is aborted, otherwise a new version is created. Snapshot isolation is a common isolation level implemented using multi-version concurrency control. Each transaction operates on a consistent snapshot of the database as it existed at the start of the transaction. Transactions only see data committed before they started. Write operations create new versions without affecting the snapshot. This prevents dirty reads, non-repeatable reads, and phantom reads, but may allow write skew anomalies, which occur when two transactions read overlapping data and then make disjoint updates. Multi-version concurrency control handles conflicts differently than traditional locking mechanisms. Read-write conflicts are avoided because readers see a consistent snapshot, so they never conflict with writers. Write-write conflicts are detected at commit time using techniques like first committer wins, abbreviated as FCW, or first updater wins, abbreviated as FUW. Write skew can occur when transactions read overlapping data and make disjoint updates. Multi-version concurrency control creates multiple versions that need to be managed. Old versions eventually become obsolete when no active transaction can see them. 
Garbage collection is needed to reclaim storage space. A challenge is determining when a version is safe to remove without disrupting active transactions. Therefore, there's a trade-off between storage space and query performance. Some common garbage collection strategies include a vacuum process, which is a background process that periodically scans for obsolete versions, and tracking the oldest transaction ID, also known as SMIN, to determine a safe cleanup point. Multiversion concurrency control is used in many real-world systems. PostgreSQL implements multiversion concurrency control with snapshot isolation, ensuring each transaction sees a snapshot of data as it existed when the transaction started. MySQL, specifically the NODB storage engine, uses multiversion concurrency control with undo logs to maintain multiple versions of rows, supporting repeatable read isolation level. Oracle Database pioneered multiversion concurrency control implementation using rollback segments to maintain consistent read views. Microsoft SQL Server implements row versioning through snapshot isolation and read committed snapshot options. In summary, multi-version concurrency control enables high concurrency by maintaining multiple versions of data items. It provides consistent reads without blocking writers, trading storage space for improved concurrency. It requires effective garbage collection to manage version chains and powers most modern database systems to handle concurrent workloads. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.